This week on Sail Away, we brought this boat to the U.S. to turn her into a functional home. It's been a trying five months, but now we're only two days from leaving. I gotta be honest, it's been, it's been really, really difficult a lot of the time. So many things have gone wrong with the boat that we weren't planning on. And it feels kind of crazy to be leaving. There are still issues, some we may have fixes for. Our generator will not run the water maker. Others, we definitely do not. We got one pesky little frozen motor. That's about the only downside. Two days with the car. <laughs> so last little bit of touristy things and then tomorrow the craziness of provisioning begins. And it does. Regardless of any lingering issues, we're leaving. So we need a lot of food, a few boat parts, and a little bit of fun to carry us over. And then something magical happened. Reenactment. We also got some excellent kid and family time with a new boat family we just met. And I open up about the toll the last five months has taken on us. We definitely lost some joy in this whole lifestyle. We truly wondered if we might have to come up with some other option here. Uh, we had some, some heart to hearts where we were wondering if we were gonna have to find a way to get out of all of this, frankly. It, it didn't feel like we were going to get to a point where we could leave. And now here we are. And now we just need to make 2,000 miles to Grenada before hurricane season is fully upon us. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Hey, promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. And I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. One of our lingering issues has been a non-generating generator. The OEM part to fix it is $800. We're about to try a $25 version. Good morning, you guys. We are kind of working our way up into getting some things done. We are one light bulb away from being ready to test this, this new AVR. You know, it's, uh, the more we've kind of been looking around, this SX460 is a, a model that's very common and made by quite a few different companies so I'm sure whatever company this is kind of a knockoff of the original their documentation wasn't great what do you want for $25 so we've kind of been going through the internet looking for other documentation and other wiring diagrams and I think we've got it figured out how it should hook up the only thing we need is a 120 volt bulb to go between these two wires this leads to an AVR circuit breaker but this one's not set up to receive that and that's it for that. All right, so this is what we wound up with, folks. How's that look? We think we have everything set up properly for 120, 60 hertz, but we do have a circuit breaker on the box coming and coming from the generator. <laughs> we'll see. There's two more days to go, and it'd be really cool if we could get this thing running today. The only other thing, too, is this. We're gonna mount this down to the old footprint, and then this is the holes for the new board. And then everything will be wonderful. Yeah. Get ready to generate the hell out of some AC stuff. AC in. Yeah, AC in. We're gonna put on some air conditioner. We're gonna charge the battery. What else can we do? Let's run a toaster. I'm gonna make some waffles. Microwave, toaster. Microwave, all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are so optimistic. Yeah. All right, Lauren, go ahead. All right. You got it? Yeah. All right. 121.8. Woo nice work. Cool. Good having a generator tech on board. days in St. Augustine and our last like two days with the car. <laughs> so we are doing the last 
lot of glasses here. Oh. We're uh, doing our last little bit of touristy things, rivers. What are we doing today? Mini golf. Mini golf. Not mini golf. Adventure golf. All right, and then tomorrow the craziness of provisioning begins. So yeah. that's Wait, what we, what we get to tomorrow? do. Grocery, 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 grocery. Buying groceries. Trying to prepare ourselves for maybe up to up to a month in the Bahamas. Yeah. And try not to do any shopping there. I don't know if it's possible. We have freezer. All right. See you at Mini Golf. For all the benefits of cruising and all the cool places we get to see, there are some places stateside that you all might take for granted that a lifelong boat kid like Rivers thinks are the coolest things in the world. One of those is mini golf. What's it gonna do? Hello. Oh. Hello. 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 Nice. All right. Well, go for a bank. Still strong. Still strong. Thank you. Oh, you're going around. You're in better shape than me. Perfect. Check this out. This is fun. And then something magical happened. Reenactment. <laughs> Just like that! Hole in one! She really did get a hole in one. We just we didn't capture the real one. That was just as good. Get some books. Look at all those winches. Look at all the winches behind you. Winches. This is Sailors Exchange in St. Augustine, a used boat parts superstore. It's overwhelming, but man, did we score some deals on a couple really important parts. It's time for the big one. <laughs> All right, let's see see the damage. Two seventy five. That should hold us over for. That's like two months worth of food. That is two months worth of food. So. All I'm doing my job. Don't worry. Sadly, it was time for Nona to head back to Ohio. But not as sad, because this time we know we'll see her again really soon. Bon voyage! Bon land voyage! You know what this means. We're leaving soon. It's true. We'll miss Nona. Well, Mom left this morning. With that, she took the car. She's going back to Ohio. Dad's staying on the boat with us and going to help us transport it down to St. Thomas. And of course, we need more things. So, we're walking. Luckily, there is a marine store that is only about, I think it said 0.8 miles away. So we're gonna take a nice little walk over there. Back to the real boat life, walking everywhere. In the last four years of boat life, we've learned to walk a lot. But we hadn't done much of that in the past five months. It was time to get back in shape.
Something else we hadn't had much of in the past five months was a lot of kid time for Rivers. Lo and behold, we met the amazing crew of Prelude. Jack and Erica and their two awesome kids, Brian and Emily. Well, we actually got the water maker working 100%. Our starboard motor now runs. Most things are functional on the boat, so we made some new friends and we're gonna go have some fun. <laughs> we clicked right away with this amazing family, and we were so bummed to find out that they were actually heading back north to New Jersey. Often just one of the breaks of cruising life. But we're hoping they'll make it down our way soon. We'd love to cruise with them. St. Augustine has been one of our favorite towns for such a long time. And even though we'd been there for over a month, it still felt as though we hadn't squeezed in nearly enough time just soaking up the town. So we spent one last whirlwind afternoon soaking up as much as we could. A lot of our time here in St. Augustine has been fraught with a lot of tension, a lot of worry and anxiety about what was going to happen next. But to paraphrase Kenny Chesney, if you're going to be down, might as well be down way down here. This is a place we always tell everybody to come to. Hold my underwear wear the way I showed you. <laughs> yeah, that's them. That chair's got funny looking feet. Oh, that's why. <laughs> How did you know I'm here? I saw your dirty little feet under the table. Alright guys, we are real close to getting out of here. We are leaving tomorrow. The plan right now, we've been watching the wind. We're so much later than we planned to be trying to get back to the Caribbean. Normally we'd want to leave sometime like in April so we can catch some of the weather fronts that turn the wind around for us. It's going to be a little tricky now. It'll be smaller windows. So right now we're just making the first leg and that's just to get to the Bahamas. And it looks like today the weather for tomorrow will be sort of a south wind that can help get us out and across the Gulf Stream and then it should turn and come from sort of the northwest. It's going to be a little bit light and variable at times. So we're hoping that'll get us down to the Abacos from here without too much messing around. We'll, we'll see. The well, one thing we haven't figured out is why our generator will not run the water maker. There is no reason and it runs perfectly well for everything else. We can run a water heater, that battery charger at 100, 150 amps, and then also power the microwave at the same time or a heat gun. I mean, so that thing is more than capable of running this high pressure pump. But every time we turn on the high pressure pump, the voltage just does a massive dump and it turns everything off. Inverter? Perfect. Runs absolutely no problem at all. 
So there's something weird going on. And I, Chris and I were wondering if it's that little cheap AVR we put in there somehow is having trouble regulating the voltage just for that pump. Right now this works okay because the batteries are killing it so far. I swear it seems like they're getting more and more efficient. It's easier to get them charged up. But they stay right in a nice comfortable range for a long time and we've been running the water maker for an hour and a half at a time and it's drawn with everything else on the boat 120 amps DC. Do that for an hour and a half and then shut it down and our voltage goes right back to about 12.2, 12.23 under load, which is great. And then we just run the generator at some point like we normally would to charge up the batteries if the sun's not quite doing it. So doing it that way works okay for us. It's, you know, ideally it'd be great to be able to run the generator and turn on the water maker at the same time, knowing that we could just do that any old time. But it kind of seems like we can do that with this big bank of lithium anyway. To kind of sum up, Chin's lithium so far have been awesome. We were really, really happy with them. Zero complaints whatsoever. And the Cruise RO water maker is <laughs> banging out some water. So far, so good, man. We're, we're loving it. And we're getting ready to head across the Bahamas. So we're filling up this port side tank probably about halfway. We've got the starboard sides at least half right now. Yeah, we're going to run our motor, make sure everything's still good there. The tests on that have been great. We've not been losing any coolant since we swapped those manifolds. What else? Generator's been running awesome, except for <laughs> with the water maker. But it, run, it runs great for everything else. Starts up perfectly solid 120 volts all the time. So we can charge things really easily. Solar's been working great with the, the sun being a little higher in the sky and a little bit longer. As we get farther south, that'll get even better. Systems wise, I think we're pretty much ready to go. We got one pesky little frozen motor. That's about the only downside. <laughs> but we got one that's working. And we got those things right there, which you put them up in the air and then like the wind comes and catches them and then it makes you go that way. It's pretty cool. Oh, here it is folks, last day. That's right. Last sunset, it's uh, Fort Pierce, St. Augustine, whatever. You don't know where you are. God, yeah. Have you checked out? I checked out a while ago. <laughs> yeah, we are leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, it feels kind of crazy to be leaving. We have been here for five months in the U.S. And we kind of thought it would be three months and maybe a couple weeks more. I gotta be honest, it's been it's been really, really difficult a lot of the time. So many things have gone wrong with the boat that we weren't planning on. And it was already kind of a steep mountain to climb the way we set out to do this. Showing up here and, and trying to do so many things to the boat as fast as possible just because of the convenience and cheapness of it here in the u.s to be able to do that you know plus we we had the lithium batteries come in and the water maker there was a lot of good reasons for us to be here to do these things but trying to do so much of it in such a short amount of time even without the additional issues it was a lot. It was a lot. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that it, we, we definitely lost some joy in this whole lifestyle while trying to do that. And then factor in the other things happening, the, the generator quitting on us, the port motor that still seized up, that we gave up on and said you know we can do this with just one it's we can manage you know take care of this motor and it'll be fine and then that motor wouldn't run and it wasn't an easy fix you know it wasn't an easy fix to get that one running to start with and then we get here and an entirely new issue happens to it that also was not an easy fix in addition to trying to figure out what the hell was going on with the generator and there were moments where we were wondering 
what we were going to do. Because without a way to charge our batteries and without a running motor, we we just we wouldn't be able to go anywhere. We truly wondered if we might have to come up with some other option here. And we do not have deep pockets. We don't have the ability to just say, ah, oh, this has gotten too hard. Let's just put the boat in the yard for six months and go live on. We can't do that. Like, that's not an option for us. This is our life, and we cut it right as close to the edge as we, more, more closely than we should to be able to do this and, you know, with the money I make and the money we make from YouTube and what it costs to do this and keep a boat going and then the process of buying this boat was expensive. Uh, it just, it taxed us, man. Uh, we had some, some heart to hearts where we were wondering if we were going to have to find a way to get out of all of this, frankly. And there were some hard discussions, honestly. And so now to be at this point where we kept pushing, <laughs> we kept trying, we kept working on things. We got obviously a ton of help from Chris and Mary and Chris's mechanical know-how to, to keep working on both the generator and the motor while I was trying to keep up with the things that we were planning, like the, the water maker and all the other stuff. It didn't feel like we were going to get to a point where we could leave, frankly. And now here we are. Now we're ready to go. We got some new variables that we hope pan out and continue to work well. The batteries are still, you know, a little bit of a new variable, but they're killing it so far. The water maker is brand new. And the fix on the starboard motor is brand new. And there's no new parts on it. We, we took an old manifold off the other motor and put it on that one. So like it's still a very old motor with uh, some old stuff going on. So we're going to try to take it real easy on it. That was kind of our plan when we bought this boat, knowing it had old motors that we would just, you know, sail as much as possible and only use them when we had to. And, and now we really do have to do that. Now we're super late in the season, so we don't get the weather systems that you get in April that help you get east. It's going to be a lot of short hops and then, I don't know, when we get down to the south end of the Bahamas, and maybe even over to the Turks and Caicos, so we still got a big east hop to make to get over to the USVI. So it's going to be challenging, there's no doubt about it. We're really excited. I can't wait to get off this morning ball. Uh, we love St. Augustine, but I'm done with current and, you know, brackish water. I'm ready to get out and get to the Bahamas, get to the clear water, get to the fun again. Start hooking up with the kid boats. So yeah, tomorrow we're doing it. It feels like we are starting completely over. This feels like our first day cruising. Like we're finally leaving. We've been building up to this and now we're going. It just doesn't feel like it's something we've been doing for three and a half, four years. Well, there you go. That was long winded and I have no idea how much Lauren will <laughs> cut out. Regardless, we will see y'all tomorrow. There we got visitors.